There's quite a strong low pressure system sitting off the southeast of Australia at the moment. There are two weather fronts associated with it, which is going to dump some pretty nasty weather over us. The first front has just gone through now, and we're just on the back end of it. And the second front is going through tomorrow, which is Friday as I record this. And the reason why that's all relevant is on Saturday, I'm doing a flight up to Wollongong and back again to go up to the Aviation Museum there at Shell Harbour Airport. But I'm coming back probably at night time and I might be coming back with passengers. If we want to take passengers flying with us, we need to do at least three takeoff and landings in a 90 day period. Now, if you've watched the channel for a while, you'll know that I do fly quite often and I have actually done that. But the difference comes when it's night time. If you want to go flying at night time, the same recency requirements apply, but those three takeoff and landings, they all have to be done at night time. And I haven't done enough night takeoff and landings if I have to bring passengers back from this flight on Saturday. So this little window between those two weather fronts, this is probably the only chance I'll get to go out at night time, build back my recency so I can fly with passengers at night if I need to. So what we decided to do, Stevens in November, Bravo Alpha behind me, that's the Piper Seminole. Uh, myself in Echo Yankee Zulu, we're both going to be in the circuit now uh, to get our night currency back again. But you might be thinking, it's light, this isn't a night flight. Well, yeah, you're right. What we're going to do is a few circuits, first of all, just as the sun's going down, and then the last three takeoff and landings, they'll be at night time. Uh, Echo Yankee Zulu in the Southern Runner Bay received Oscar, request taxi 35 right, four circuits. Echo Yankee Zulu, Grand Taxi holding point Alpha runway 35 right. Holding point Alpha 35 right, Echo Yankee Zulu. There's also something very magical about being at the airport of this time of day because no one else is here. There's one aircraft just landing in the distance. But apart from that, it's myself and Stephen, the people in the tower, and we've got the whole place to ourselves. Okay, do my quick lineup checks. I check the fuel pumps on, mixture goes full rich, flaps are set, instruments are all looking good, switches, my Peter heat's going to go on when I enter the runway, my transponder is set, and my yoke, I give it a full and free. Just make sure that everything out on the wing is looking right. And when that's all done, that's my lineup check. So I go over to tower frequency and I'll tell them I'm ready. Roman Tower, Echo Yankee Zulu is ready. Holding point Alpha, four circuit. Echo Yankee Zulu, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Echo Yankee Zulu. And November Bravo Alpha turns down with touch again. November Bravo Alpha, number one. 500 feet, caps is available. Fuel pump will keep on, make a right turn. All right, leveling off at a thousand feet. Power comes back. Echo Yankee Zulu, downwind, touch and go. Echo Yankee Zulu, number two. Echo Yankee Zulu. I've got Steven in sight over there to my right. And then I'm looking to make my base turn. I haven't been clear to land yet, so I'm just going to keep approaching the runway and wait for Tower to tell me when I'm clear to land. Echo Yankee Zulu, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, Echo Yankee Zulu. Not the squarest uh, kick that I've ever done, but that's all right. My first, the speed looks good. No more pitch adjustments, just playing with the power. Comes off. Nice flare. Down, flaps go away. And up we go again. And there you go, that's what a circuit is like in a Sirius SR22. Well, that's what my circuit is like in the Sirius SR22. Whenever I post anything online about flying at night or I talk to other people about flying this single engine aircraft at night time, sometimes I'll get the comment, oh, I'd never do that in a small plane. I think night flying is actually a lot of fun and I don't do it enough. I think it's really good for your instrument scanning procedure. It's really good to sharpen your takeoff and landing skills. And often at night time, there's less traffic out there to get in your way and quite often the weather can be a lot calmer as well. I also am very fortunate to fly an aircraft which does have a parachute system on board which gives me a lot more confidence flying at night time. So my night flying is a little bit rusty and that's why we're doing circuits just to kind of practice my skills and get me used to flying at night time again and we kind of went we went round and round quite a few times before the sun slowly started to set. It's slowly getting dark enough for us. Yeah slowly, I'm getting dizzy though. Yeah, I think I'm only going to be a couple more, but we'll see how quickly it gets dark. Yeah, I understand. A couple more will be good, I reckon. But then the sun eventually did go down, and we could officially start to log some actual night takeoff and landings. How many 
is that? I think I've lost count now. 500 feet, caps is available. And up we go again. Now there's another aircraft taking off in between myself and Stephen. So I'm just giving him a little bit more room by doing a slightly wider circuit on this one. But he's rolling on the runway now and I'm just about to turn on to final. So there should be plenty of space in between us. Should get a clearance to land any second. Echo Yankee Zulu, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, Echo Yankee Zulu. The one good thing about flying here at Morabin is that the tower stays open until nine o'clock tonight, nine o'clock local. So we should have tower control for our circuits. Now some of you may like that, some of you might not, but just my style of flying, I actually much prefer having air traffic control here, just helping with separation and letting us know where the traffic is. All right, we're officially night time. Well, actually we've been officially night time for a little while now, so the circuits that we're doing now are all counting. Echo Yankee Zulu, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, Echo Yankee Zulu. And off we go. And now we have Bravo Sierra Victor in front of us as well, so just got to keep an eye on him, so I think I'll slow quite a long way down, because he's also stopping, stopping. Echo Yankee Zulu, early downwind, touch and go. Echo Yankee Zulu, follow the Cessna mid-base, they are for a full stop. Got the traffic inside, we'll follow him, Echo Yankee Zulu. Uh, we may need to go around here. Echo Yankee Zulu, going around. Echo Yankee Zulu. Find myself up, that's good practice as well, to be honest, to get a go around in as well. There's a chance we could have made it, but why not practice that whilst we're out here? One more to go, and then I'm current again for taking passengers at night time. 500 feet, caps is available. Let's make this the best. Echo Yankee Zulu, clear to land. Clear to land, Echo Yankee Zulu. I'll just enter very quickly, put fuel in this, and then I'll meet you at the hangar. Sounds good. That was good fun. Ah, and then one of, the, one of the things that genuinely is considered to be one of the harder things about flying at night is taxi. Try not to drive into the grass. Where are we? Bravo, bravo. Yeah, we're doing all right. I think we timed those circuits just perfectly. What a fun night.